All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to be manipulating the default network type. We're going to start off with some baseline show commands of show IPv6 OSPF interface and neighbor, and then also a show IPv6 route. We're then going to enable the debug command, debug IPv6 OSPF events, to see how things unfold as we change the default network type. And then we're going to finish up with the verification show commands of show IPv6 OSPF interface and neighbor and show IPv6 route to make sure that we're still learning all our prefixes. We're going to be manipulating the default network type here on the link between router 2 and router 3. So this right here. And we're going to be changing the default network type which is an Ethernet interface which is a network broadcast type to a point to point because there's only two routers on this link anyway so you don't need to go through the DR BDR election and that's a waste of time and uh, processes so we're going to change this to point to point so let's get started start with our show IPv6 OSPF interface and E01 is the interface from router 2 over to router 3 and we see right here that it is a network type broadcast. So let's go ahead and ensure that we have an OSPF neighbor adjacency from 223 and then we're going to look at how router 2 wants to get to router 3's loopback address. And we see right here that we do have a neighbor adjacency from 2 to 3 and we are full and we have a DR that 3 is the designated router for uh, this link. And then our show IPv6 route to router 3's IPv6 loopback address wants to go out Ethernet 01, which once again is the interface that goes from 2 directly to 3. So let's enable our debug command to see how things unfold, and we're probably going to get a lot of information. And we're going to change, like I said earlier, the default network type from broadcast to point to point. And you do that underneath the interface that you want to change or manipulate and you do that with the command IPv6 OSPF network and you tell it what network type you want in this case we want point to point so that's how you do that underneath underneath the interface you want to manipulate and I'm gonna back this up right here real quick and show you these are the different types we, we already have a broadcast you can change it to non broadcast point to multi point or point to point so we want we want point to point. So we'll go ahead and put that back in. So we got all kinds of stuff going on here between uh, router two and router three, where router three elected itself as the as the DR, and there's not a BDR anymore because one side's trying to elect a designated router, uh, which would be router three because it's on a broadcast type. When router two is no longer thinking it's a broadcast type, it's a point-to-point -point type, so it doesn't want to participate in that anymore. So we've got all kinds of stuff going on with that. So we see that that's working. So I'm going to change or turn off debugging. And we're going to look at something here real quick that's kind of fascinating. The IPv6 OSPF interface has gone from network type broadcast to network type point to point. So that took and we still have our neighbor adjacency to three and we're now full and we're not doing a DR election anymore as far as router two is concerned. So now let's do a show IPv6 route for how router two wants to get back to router three. Even though it's full and adjacent to router 3, it wants to send traffic to get to router 3's loopback address over to router 4. And the reason that is is because they don't match as far as their uh, network types. One side is a broadcast or a DR type network type in OSPF v3 and the other side is point to point. So even though their hello timers matched up and they think that they've come up, they're talking two different languages. So I'm going to skip these show commands because I think you get the idea. And let's go ahead and configure router 3 to point to point and let the adjacencies reset. Okay, so we're on router 3 and I did my show IPv6 OSPF interface command and it's now a network type point to point because we just changed it. I now have an adjacency from 3 to 2 and it's now full and we're not doing a DRBDR election anymore and the best way to get to R2's loopback address is overneath the connection from 3 to 2 and 2 has now changed its mind and thinks the best way to get to router 3's loopback is over the